Now, when he was a boy, his mother gave him a copy of a James Harriet book, which inspired him to become a vet. Yes, Luke Gamble, an extraordinary young man, and also set up the charity, the Worldwide Veterinary Service. He's just returned from his travels to India to vaccinate 50,000 dogs against rabies. He hopes by doing that he can stop children from catching the fatal disease and he's here. Luke, thanks very much for coming in. Your aim was to vaccinate 50,000 dogs in 30 days. How did you get on? Well, we smashed that out of the park. <laughs> we, we, we ended up doing 60,000 dogs in 30 days uh, and it was a phenomenal project. You know, it involved 500 volunteers from 14 different countries around the world all coming together to vaccinate um, you know, 60,000 dogs across 10 states of India. So you had a lot of help. A lot of help, days. yeah. 500 <laughs> of you. Yeah, it's a big crew. I mean, it's fantastic. The idea was we pick focused areas where there's a high incidence of rabies. As you said, they see as a child in India dies from rabies every single hour, and it's 100% preventable. 98% of the cases are caused by dog bites, and the idea is that we went in there to these little communities, we blasted the dogs with vaccine, protecting those dogs and protecting those communities. How difficult was it to do it, though? These dogs are quite vicious. Well, they're not handled very much, you know, that, that's for sure, but actually not too bad. I mean, it's done incredibly humanely. We've mm. effectively got great big nets, the sort of modified butterfly nets. And you go up to the dog and you net it, you do a twist of the net, and the dogs then restrained, vaccinate it, mark it, because we recorded everything on sort of smartphones, and then uh, let the dog go. It's all done in under a minute. And this is a major problem in India, isn't it? It's a, it's a huge problem. And what we're trying to do is set up a, a blueprint, really, for how this disease can be eradicated from the areas. And the next step is we follow up now with the, we've got this big truck we took to India, and we're running surgical training courses in each of these areas to train the local vets how to neuter the populations. So what those communities end up with is of dogs that live with them that are protected against rabies and are neutered and aren't going to breed uncontrollably. So the dogs win and the people win. But this is a worldwide problem. Yeah, it's a, it's a massive problem and yeah. this is the next challenge. We've got to keep our work going on India. We've got to expand this, build on it, and then we can roll this out internationally. So there's no reason at all why we can't just take this out to other countries and sort it out. In the meantime, you're trying to be a vet over here as well. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of both. Bright is a spice of life. <laughs> so, you are an extraordinary young man, as I said at the very start, and good luck to you in the future, and keep us in touch with what you're up to. Thanks a million. <laughs> and you can get more information about Luke's incredible work by visiting missionrabies.com. That's missionrabies.com. Now, 30 years ago today, Richard Noble was the 